Hello, you beautiful, sexy people. This is Zach Couples from ZachCouples.com, and I'm bringing you a course review of a recent course that I attended called Resilient Movement Foundations. This course was taught by my boys, Douglas Kachijan, Trevor Rappa, and Greg Spantz out of Resilient Performance Physical Therapy in New York City. If you are in New York, please check them out. They are good clinicians. And it was put on by Move SF, which is Matt Tripp's gym, and that's in San Francisco, California. Definitely check him out, man. He's, he's good people, and I love uh, Charlie Reed. He's a dear friend of mine. So um, there's a lot of good people at this class, and I was very fortunate to be able to attend. So why did I take this course? Well, first off, let's go get it twisted, fam. Had to support the home team. Uh, Doug, Trevor, and Greg are all very dear friends of mine and uh, I wanted to learn from them, so um, I was there for that, of course. But larger, the larger picture for why I took this course was because I love, love all the exercises that they put up on the internet. And these guys are very good, and that was the intent of the course, but these guys are very good at coaching the basic movements. Squat, deadlift, push, pull, carry, all of these things. And I think the basic movements and being able to do these savagely well is vastly underappreciated, or in some cases simply not taught. Nowhere in physical therapy school was I taught how to effectively squat or deadlift. It just wasn't there. That's the void that these guys are trying to fill, and they fill that void incredibly well. So what's the course design look like? I'm glad you asked. It's a one-day seminar. There are no pre-readings, but I think if you want to get the most out of this, and I'll link this below in the post, I would definitely consider reading some of the movement variability research because that's something that's very much talked about. And starting strength wouldn't be a bad option either because a lot of the principles in that book carry over to what is taught in this course. So those would be some recommended pre-readings I would have for you. In terms of the layout of the course, it's broken up into four parts. There's a, uh, what the hell's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> There's a principles section. There's a pelvic foundation section, which is basically lower quadrant um, stuff. And then there's a thorax foundations portion, which is basically the upper body. Lastly, there is a programming section. So it's a four-part lecture series over the course of a one day. So in the principal section, that's where they go into why they do what they do and what are some of the underlying principles that govern how they design all of their rehabilitation and training programs. And the lecture that Doug gives on movement variability is quite phenomenal. So that was probably the highlight of of that portion of things. And in terms of the pelvic foundations, that's where they go over the squat and deadlift, talk about how to coach this effectively, how to move in these patterns well. And if you can't, they provide several different movement strategies that they implement in order to increase movement variability or achieve more degrees of freedom that can potentially allow you to squat or deadlift more effectively. This is also done in the thoracic side of things. In both of those sections as well, they go into detail in terms of some of the relevant anatomy, kinesiology, and biomechanics, and those sections are worth their weight in gold, especially the part in which they discuss some of the glides of the, the hip and shoulder joints, because that becomes very, very relevant when we take those concepts, those accessory movements into the big lifts. A lot of those sections in particular were interspersed with lab and practicing some of the movements that Doug, Trevor, and Greg went over. And it was very, very helpful. They kind of did it in small groups and were able to give everyone ample time in terms of coaching or answering questions regarding exercises. So those parts were good. The last piece was programming. And you just have to go to that for the discussion on plyometrics because 
Um, it's definitely kind of reframed the way I'm thinking of utilizing these modalities, not in the sense of how I'm executing them, but who I'm using them with, um, especially the elderly, because losing power is paramount to being a causative factor or a correlative factor of fall risk. And so I'm probably not using plyometrics as much as I need to with my older peeps. And that's basically how the course is, is laid out. Now one downside is there isn't a manual for this course, but post-course the Resilient Boys do give you a crap ton of information and resources to thumb through. So they give you access to their PowerPoint. They give you this really cool exercise database where they basically have the list of all the exercises. And it's organized on, hey, this is going to help you with overhead. This is going to help you with the squat. And then they have a YouTube uh, link with it to correspond to the video. And um, that's been an incredibly helpful resource that I'm going to be stealing liberally. The other thing that they give you is a list of some of their dynamic warm-up strategies that they like to implement with their people and it's very sequential and so I uh, really like that as well. So you will have plenty of material to dive into even after the class. Who needs to take this? I would say basically any physical therapist would benefit from this incredibly simply because those basic movements are not taught to an adequate degree in physical therapy school. And really, I think any strength conditioning coach would benefit from this as well because I think the same is true for them. I know I would not squat the way it's taught in the NSCA manual, fam. These guys have the ticket to teaching you how to perform the basic lifts effectively. And not only that, but just program intelligently, which I think is also vastly underappreciated. So, does this have my stamp of approval? You can bet your bottom dollar it does. So go check out the boys at resilientperformancephysicaltherapy.com. Go to their class, get your learn on, get moving, get grooving, and I'll see you on the next review, peeps. Deuces.